Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to record MIDI drums to separate tracks in Reaper. Now, the purpose of this video is if you're recording a MIDI drum set or even a MIDI part on your keyboard, you might want to have each drum on their own separate track. This way, you can edit it later and it makes it a lot easier to focus on just that one drum. Maybe you want to edit the velocities on your snare or adjust your toms part, it's a lot easier to do it if they're on their own separate tracks. Now you can always split them after you recorded them, but it saves a lot of time to record them on their own track right from the beginning. So let's set this up. I have a track here. Let's put a drum instrument plugin on this track. Go to the effects, go to our instruments, and I'm gonna choose Easy Drummer by Tune Track. It's not really gonna matter what software you use, everything we do in this video will work the same no matter which one you choose. So let's choose this one, which looks like this. I'll go into record and make sure I have sound. So if we record our drums like this, it's all gonna be recorded on one track. So let's create separate tracks for each drum. I'll go down here and double click to make a new track. Let's name this kick so we could dedicate this track just for recording the kick drum. Let's take this track out of record and put this one in record. Now we want to send from this track to this one because I want to use one instrument or one instance of drum software for the whole kit. It's kind of wasteful to put a separate one on each track. So we're going to send from this track to this track. We'll go to our routing. And if we drag it, see our cursor changes to a patch cable? We can then drop it. Now by default, Reaper's gonna send audio and MIDI. We just need MIDI. So let's turn off the audio by choosing none. So now we're just sending MIDI from this track to this track. So now if we play our keyboard or our MIDI drum kit. We're still hearing sound. It's going through this track or being recorded to this track, but it's playing back on this track. So now we need a way of using this track just for the kick drum. So let's filter it with a plugin. Let's go to our effects. Let's go down over here and type MIDI. And right over here is a plugin called MIDI Note Filter. Let's choose this. And with this plugin, we could filter MIDI notes based on their lowest key and their highest key. So right now, it's not really gonna filter anything. But if we bring this up and play the keyboard, we don't hear the drums because those MIDI notes are being filtered out. So now we need to figure out what note we're playing. So let's add another plugin to this track. I'm going to choose this plugin right here called MIDI Examiner. From this plugin, we could see what MIDI note we're playing. So if I play my kick, we could see right over here on the data byte one that I'm playing number 36. Play my snare, it's 38. But we just want the kick. So we're going to go to our filter up here and type in 36 for the lowest key and 36 for the highest key. So we should just hear that one note. If I play another note on my keyboard or my MIDI drum set, we don't hear it because it's being filtered out. But there's one problem with this method. Let's close this. If we record some drums to this track, All the notes get recorded right here. Even though we're just hearing the kick drum, it's still recording everything. So we want to fix that. And the way to do that is to put our MIDI filter right here on the input effects. Right now they're on the track effects. So the filtering is happening on playback. 
we want it to happen on the way in. So we can move our effects to here by holding on Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and just dragging it over to here. And now it's over here instead. So now if we record some drums, only the kick got recorded. So it filters it out on the way in. So now let's set up a few more tracks, one for each drum. Let's duplicate this. Let's name it snare. Let's reset the filter for this track. Let's play our snare. And we can see it's 38. But for the snare drum, there's actually multiple samples or multiple keys to trigger different snare sounds. And it starts on the C sharp as a rim shot, then the D, E flat, and the E. But if we go to the F, it's a tom. So we don't need that. So the low key we want is this one, 37, and the high key is 40. So let's put that in the filter from 37 to 40. So now if I put my kick, it's not going through that track. It's filtered out. But if we play the snare, it's not filtered out. And if we play any other keys or drums, we don't hear it because it's also filtered out. But if we put the kick track in record, now we hear the kick again. But notice it's only coming in on this track. And if we hit the snare, it's coming in on this track. So let's add another track for hi-hats. We'll duplicate it. Put it in record. Let's adjust our filter. Reset it here. And for hi-hat, we're going to start on the F-sharp at 42 and go up to the B-flat at 46. So it's 42 to 46. And again, we could check each one and they're all separated. Let's do one more for our toms. Duplicate it, name it toms, go to our filters, and let's see where the toms are. A high tom is up here, the middle tom is there, and the low tom is there. So it's from 74 to 81. And we can close all this. If we play our toms, only gonna come through this track. With our kick through that track, snare, and the hi-hats through the hi-hat track. Now we would do this with every drum or cymbal, but that's enough for now. Let's record some drums. And just like that, we recorded our drum part with each drum on a separate track. So now if we want to do some editing, let's say we wanted to readjust our kick part, just double click it, and we have a MIDI editor just for the kick. So we can readjust the velocities, maybe change the sound. Well, the same with the hi-hat. We can readjust the velocities right here, just on the hi-hat. Now, if you do want to edit them all together, just go to your preferences, 
down over here on the MIDI editor and choose one MIDI editor per project. Let me just double click one of them and select the others. And they all show up in the same window. Here's our toms. Here's our kick. Here's our snare and our hi-hats. So if you want them all in one window, we can still have that while keeping them all on separate tracks. Now, if you want to save this setup, just select all the tracks, go to track, save tracks as template. We'll name it separate tracks for drums. Then if you want to start over in a new song, go to track, Insert track from template and just choose it right down here. Separate tracks for drums. And it all opens right up and we can start playing right away. And that's pretty much it. That's recording MIDI drums to separate tracks in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.